In this video, I will show you how to create a travel website for your travel company step by step with Travel Booking Pro WordPress theme. This video is the extension of our previous video on how to create a travel website for free with Travel Booking Free WordPress theme. If you haven't watched that video yet, please make sure that you watch it. I have added the link to the video in the description box below or you can also click on the i icon above. First, I will walk you through the demo page here. I will then walk you through the exclusive features that you get with the Travel Booking Pro theme. Then, I will show you how to get the Travel Booking Pro WordPress theme. We will install and activate the theme, activate the theme license, and then move on to the customizer settings. The video is long, so please make use of the timeline I have added in the video. Let's get started. To access the Travel Booking Pro WordPress theme, you'll have to first visit our site wptravelengine.com, navigate to themes and click on it. Now go to premium. And here is the Travel Booking Pro WordPress theme. To view the demo site, you'll have to click on view details and you'll have to click on view live demo button. I have already opened the live demo page here in the new tab. Now, let's briefly go through the live demo page. We will start with the header section. Just like with our free theme, you get to add the site logo, title, as well as the tagline and create a navigation menu. A beautiful banner section. With the pro theme, you can also feature your banner as a slider where you can add a call to action button. You can add as many sliders as you wish to. In addition, you can also feature social media links on your header and add in the phone number to your travel company. How to do that is properly explained and demonstrated in the video. So please make sure to go through the entire video. The search bar where your visitors can search for their preferred trip based on various criterias. Then just like with the free theme, you get about section, popular packages section, call to action one section, feature trip section, deals and discount section, popular destination section, Call to Action 2 section Activity section Then with the Pro theme, you also get the Testimonial section where you can feature testimonials from your clients. The Blog section like you get in the Free theme The Client section where you can feature the logos of the clients that you have already worked with. This functions as a social proof which builds trust among your new and existing customers. The footer section where you get footer areas 1 to 3 and 4, as well as the footer copyright section. Now with the pro theme, you can also make the WordPress link and the author link disappear. How to do that is also included in the video. Then you also get a back to top button. Your visitors will be able to go to the top with a single click from any part of the site with the help of this back to top button. Now apart from these, you also get four pre-built custom page templates, about, contact, team and testimonials page. Let's check out these pages on our demo site. So we will go to pages and let's explore the team page. Here. You can add in the core team members where you can feature their images, link their social media profiles, add in their name, position and also short description. Then you can also add all of your other team members here. Now let's explore the contact page from the navigation menu. Here in the contact page, you can feature a contact form, add in the contact details over here. Then you can also add in a Google map. 
How to configure these page templates step by step is also included in the video tutorial. Now, let's head back to our sales page and we will go through the exclusive features that you get with the Travel Booking Pro theme. Scroll down. Along with the many features that you get in the Travel Booking Free theme, in the Pro theme, you get 4 predefined header layouts, 4 custom page templates, an attractive blog layout, 3 different banner layouts where you can either display video, image, or a slider. Just like with the free theme, Travel Booking Pro theme is also compatible with WP Travel Engine plugin. It allows advanced trip search and is also compatible with TripFix starting dates extension. The theme is also compatible with our trip reviews extension. With the help of this extension, your visitors can easily add reviews on a trip, which helps to increase social proofs and in turn increase sales. Travel Booking Pro theme is also group discount extension compatible. This extension allows travel companies to provide group discount to their companies without any hassle. Now, let's dive into the key features. You can select from unlimited colors to give your own personal feel and touch to your travel company website. The theme includes a whopping 700 and plus Google fonts. You can also select from a huge collection of included fonts. In addition, you can also easily change the body and header 123456 typography. Sorting homepage section is an option that allows you to customize your website by reordering the homepage section. Now, along with the options that you get in the free theme, that is SEO optimized, speed optimized, built-in live customizer, you also get a back to top button. The theme also allows social media integration, has a powerful option panel, footer copyrights editor, where you can add, edit, or remove any section from your footer. You can choose from unlimited background, customize your website with custom widgets, as well as choose from any number of unlimited sidebars. One page features helps you to create a one page travel website. You can select from different pagination styles to help your visitors with an easy navigation on your site. This theme also allows floating or sticky menu and it also lets your website visitors easily switch the language of your website into the one they feel the most comfortable with a simple multilingual switch menu. Just like with the Travel Booking Free theme, the Travel Booking Pro theme also allows footer background image, is cross-browser compatible. The text and design of the Travel Booking Pro theme are optimized for readability, with structured sizing, great contrast, and ample spacing. The theme includes breadcrumbs, is translation ready, is polylang, and WPML compatible. Travel Booking Pro supports right-to-left scripts, comes with regular updates for the latest security and technical standards, so your website will be safe from vulnerabilities. It allows custom site logo. Then there is the highlight author comment feature. This displays the author's comment in a distinctive style so that it gets the attention from the visitors. Author box to display author information. The theme is also WooCommerce ready to get your online shop up and running in no time. Just like with the free theme, Travel Booking Pro also comes with clean commented code, has top-notch quick and friendly support, and comes with extensive step-by-step -step documentation along with this video tutorial. Now, I will show you how you can download Travel Booking Pro theme. From your right-hand side, you can select one of the packages. Then, you have to click on the Purchase button. Now you have to fill in the account information like email address, first name and last name. Select your payment method. Fill up the credit card information. Then after you complete the formalities, you have to click on the Purchase button. After which, the theme will be emailed to the email address that you provide here 
in a zip format. You will also get a link to download the theme. I have already downloaded the Travel Booking Pro theme. Now I will log into my WordPress admin dashboard and I will show you how you can install and activate the Travel Booking Pro theme as well as activate your license key. To install and activate Travel Booking Pro theme, go to Appearance, click on Themes, click on Add New, click on Upload Theme, click on Choose File, select the zip file, click on Open, click on Install Now. Then click on Activate. The Travel Booking Pro theme has now been installed and activated successfully. This theme also recommends the one click demo import plugin. So click on Begin Installing Plugin. Select the plugin by checking into this box here. From the drop down option, select Install and click on Apply. Now click on the return link. Again, select the plugin from the drop down option. Select activate and click on apply. The one click demo import plugin has now been installed and activated. This plugin helps you to import the demo content from our demo page. Now we will activate the theme license. To activate the theme license, from under appearance, click on getting started. On your right hand side, you will find the option to enter and activate your theme license key. Here you have to enter the license key that you received during the download of the theme. You can find your license key in the download section of your WP Travel Engine theme dashboard and you can also find it along with the purchase details in your email address. Your theme license key looks something like this. Click on Save Changes and now click on Activate License. After activating your license key, it displays a message that says that your license is now active. The main idea behind activating the license key is to receive regular theme updates from our team. Now let's access the Customizer Settings. To access the customizer settings, from under appearance, you have to click on customize. I'm going to open the link in the new tab. Just at a single glance, you will see many exclusive and extra settings that you get with the Travel Booking Pro theme. We will go through each of these settings one by one and step by step, but before that, Let's go to our site, which I have opened here in the new tab. Now let's give it a refresh. After installing and activating the Travel Booking Pro theme, you can see the banner image has changed. Let's see what other changes we can see right now. Okay, here is the testimonial section. This was not present in our free theme. But as you can see, the demo content for the testimonial section has now appeared on our site. We will configure the testimonial section later in the video. The blog section and the rest look pretty much the same right now. Let's go to the top. Let's get back to our customizer settings. And now we will explore the customizer settings one by one, starting with site identity. So site identity settings are the same as it were in the free theme, so I'll not go into it. Please refer to our travel booking free theme for that. Next is the appearance settings. The first is color scheme. So apart from the option to add in the background image, you can also change the primary color. Primary color is the color that you are seeing here, this blue color. So all you have to do is click on select color. Then you can select the color from the palette available here. And whatever color you select will be set as the primary color.
Again, you can set the tone of the color from the pointer and the slider here. And you can also add in the hex value of the color over here. If you click on the default button, it will set the color, the primary color back to default. Let's go back. Next is the background settings. Now, apart from the option to add in an image as the body background for your site, in the pro theme, you can also select pattern as the body background. You can choose from any of these 63 awesome background patterns for your site background. So whatever pattern you like, you only have to select it and that pattern will be applied as your site background. If you don't want to add in any site background, you can click on no BG. It stands for no background. Let's go back and back. Next is the layout settings. The first is the header layout. You can select from five different available header layouts. So you can just go with the header layout of your choice. Play around with the options. See the style that you like the most. And you can go with that particular choice. I will stick with header layout number one, but you can always go with your preference. Let's go back. Next is the general sidebar layout. Under general sidebar layout, the page, the post, and the default sidebar layout are the same as it were in the free theme. The extra setting that you get is the block sidebar layout, which is the sidebar layout for your block page. So to demonstrate this option, let's go to our block page. As you can see, the right sidebar layout has been selected, which is why the sidebar is displaying on the right. You can select without sidebar and your block page will not have any sidebar. I will go with the right sidebar layout, which will then set the sidebar towards the right, as you are seeing on the screen right now. Now in our travel booking free theme, while demonstrating the default sidebar layout, I had taken an example of the block page, but please note that the default sidebar layout is the general sidebar layout for the whole site, whereas the block sidebar layout is only specifically meant for your block page. If you have any questions regarding that, then please do let me know in the comment section below or you can reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. If you have made any changes, don't forget to click on the publish button. Let's go back. Next is the pagination settings. Under pagination settings, you can select the pagination type. So pagination is this right over here, you can select the pagination type from here. By default, numbered pagination type is selected. You can go with default, which displays older or newer posts here. You can also go with the third option that is to display the load more button. This will display the load more button here. You can change the load more posts label from here. Then you can change the loading label from here. So when you click on the load more posts button, it displays loading. You can change that loading label from here. And when there are no more posts to display, it displays no more posts here. You can change the no more post label from here. Simply remove the labels that are already here. Then add in the labels of your choice. You can also enable the auto infinite scroll. Upon enabling the auto infinite scroll, all of the blog posts will display one after another until and unless all of the blog posts have come to an end. I will go with the default pagination type which is numbered. Let's go to the top. If you have made any changes, don't forget to click on publish. Next is the typography settings. First is body settings. From here, you can select the primary font, the font size and the body color for your entire website. To change the primary font, just click here, then you can select from the list of available fonts. And whatever font you select will be applied here to your site in real time. From here, you can change the font size. 
So instead of 20, if you wish to decrease the font size to 18, then you can decrease it or you can also increase it. To change the body color, you have to click on select color, then just like with any other color settings, you have to select the color of your choice. You can set the tone from the pointer and from the slider here. Then you can also add in the hex value. This will change the body font color for your entire site. To set it back to default, you have to click on the default button which will set the color back to default, which is the black color. To set the font size back to default, you have to click on this reset icon here. And I will also set the primary font back to its default font. The next option is to locally host Google Fonts. So click on it. By default, the theme fetches the font from Google. But if you enable this option here, then it will store the font on your site, which in turn will help to improve your website speed. I would highly recommend you to enable the locally host Google fonts. Just enable the toggle here. And now click on publish. I will come back to these settings later on. Now let's get back to typography by clicking on the back to typography link here. And let's go back. Next, you will find settings to change the font for all of the headings H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. Let's explore the H1 settings. Here, you can change your font family. You can select from the list of available Google fonts here. You can select the font style. Depending upon the font family you have selected here, you can select your H1 font size as well as select the H1 font color. And you have the same options available for the rest of the heading settings. Please note that these heading settings font is only applied to the headings that you add on your post or pages. Let's go back. Next is the front page settings. So we will go to the top and we will go back to our home page. The first option is slider or banner section. First is banner options. Under banner options, you have four different options available. We have already covered the first two options to disable the banner section and to set the static or video call to action banner in our travel booking free theme video tutorial. So let's explore the rest too. You can set static or a video newsletter banner for your site. So simply select static video or a newsletter banner. This option allows you to feature a newsletter on your banner section. Since we have not created any newsletter, let's create a newsletter first. So let's go back to our dashboard for that. Now you have to go to plugins and click on add new. From the search bar, type Blossom Themes Newsletter. This is the Blossom Themes email newsletter. Now click on Install Now. Now click on Activate. The Blossom Themes email newsletter plugin has now been installed and activated. After installing and activating the Blossom Themes email newsletter, you will see Blossom Themes email newsletter menu here. So you have to hover your cursor over Blossom Themes email newsletter. Then you have to click on Add New to create a new newsletter. Add in the title of the newsletter. From under field settings, you can select name and email or only email. If you select name and email, both name and email placeholder will display for your newsletter. If you select only email, then only email placeholder will be displayed on your newsletter. I'm going to select both name and email. You can change the name placeholder from here. Then you can change the email placeholder from here. You can also change the submit button label from here. Just remove the labels that are already here. Then add in the label of your choice. You can enable the GDPR checkbox from here. Then you can also add in the form note. Form note is a small message asking your visitors 
to subscribe to you. Next is the appearance settings. You can select the background color for your newsletter or you can also add in the background image. If you select background color, you can click here, then you can select the background color for your newsletter. You can select any color of your choice. Then you can set the tone by sliding the pointer and the slider here. You can also select the font color from here. You can select the color from the palette, set the tone or you can also add in the hex value. If you choose to add in the background image, you have to select background image. Then you can click on upload image, then select the image of your choice, which will be set as the background image for your newsletter. You can also enable overlay on background by enabling the toggle here. Now after you are done creating your newsletter, you have to click on the publish button and you will have to copy the short code. Just copy the short code here, then let's go back to the customizer, scroll all the way down, then inside the banner newsletter box, you have to paste the short code that you have just copied. And your newsletter will be displayed here. Now instead of newsletter, if you wish to add in banner as slider, then you will have to select the fourth option. When you select your banner as a slider, you'll have the option to select slider content style. You can either select latest post. When you select latest post, all of your latest blog post will display as the banner slider, as it is displaying on the screen right now. You can also select category. And when you select category, you will have one more option to select the slider category. If you click on choose category, on the drop down option, you will find the list of the blog post categories that you have assigned for your blog post. And whatever category you select, let's say for example, you select art gallery, then all of the blog posts that are assigned with art gallery category will be displayed as your banner slider. Next option is pages. When you select your slider content style as pages, you can add new pages as your slider. You simply have to click on add new pages. Then you have to click on the choose option, which will open the list of pages that you can select. Whatever page you select, that particular page will be displayed as your banner slider. To add more pages, you have to click on add new pages. Then you have to select another page. Then you have to keep on going like that. If you have any confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Next, you can also select custom as your slider content style. When you select custom, you can add custom sliders to your banner. Click on add new slide. Then you have to click on add image. Then select the image of your choice. I have also added the recommended image sizes for Travel Booking Pro theme in the description box below. You can also find the recommended image sizes in the text documentation of Travel Booking Pro theme. So after selecting the image, click on select. And the image has been added to your banner. Now add in the title. You can then add the featured link inside of the link box. And when you add the link, the continue reading button will be displayed here. To add another slide, you have to click on add new slide button here once again. Click on add image. Now select the image of your choice. Let's select this one. Click on select. Now again, let's add in the title. Then add in the feature link inside of the link box. And here, a new slide has been added. When your visitors click on the button here, they will land on the link to the page or the post of which the links you have added over here. 
Following the same process, let me add one more slide. And here, a new slide has been added. Scroll down, there are more options at the bottom. The first option is to enable or disable the slider auto. With this, you will be able to enable or disable the slider auto transition like how it is showing on the screen. If you disable this option, the slider transition will not happen automatically. To move from one slider to another, your visitors will have to click on either side of the arrows here. The next option is to enable or disable the slider loop. If you enable this option, the sliders will keep going on in a loop even after they have come to an end. Then you can enable or disable the slider caption by disabling or enabling the toggle. Then you can also select the slider animation from here. So right now slide is selected. If you select bounce out right and let's enable the slider auto transition and see what the slider animation looks like. So this is what it looks like. I will change the slider animation back to slide. You can change the slider read more from continue reading to anything else you wish to. Just remove the title that is already here, then add in the label or title of your choice. After you are done, click on publish. Now let's go over to our site in the front end and give it a refresh and you will see the changes here. Let's go back. We are done with our banner section. Now let's go back. Next is the search section. This is the search bar. To activate the search bar, you have to select the trip search results page as it is given here. So you have to make sure that just go back to the dashboard, go to WP Travel Engine, go to settings. From under general, for the trip search results page, you have to make sure that you have selected trip search results page from the drop down option. It is only after you set the trip search results page from here, the search bar will be displayed here. You can disable the search bar by disabling the toggle which will disable it and you can enable it back on by enabling the toggle. Next is the about section. The about section is the same as it is in the free theme so I'll not go into this. The popular packages section, call to action section, featured section, the deals and discount section, the destination section, the call to action to section, as well as the activities section are the same as they were in the free theme. Please refer to our free theme video for these. Next is the testimonial section. Right now, the testimonial demo content is being displayed here and that is because the enable testimonial demo content option is enabled. Let's disable the demo content testimonial and now we will add our own testimonials. Click on publish to save the changes first. Now to add the testimonials, we'll have to go back to our dashboard. From your dashboard, you will see the option to add testimonials here. Hover your cursor over testimonials, then click on add new. Here, add in the title of your testimonial. So for the title, you can add in the name of your client who has given the testimonial. Then here, add in your client testimonial content. Then on the right hand side, you can add in the testimonial details. Add in the trip title here. Here, you have to add in the name of the trip for which the client has given testimonial for. Then here, add in the name of the visited trip. The visited trip and the trip title can be the same. Now, you have to add in the date of the trip. Then you can add in the rating from here. 
Let's give a 5 star rating and click on publish. So this testimonial has been published. Now to add another testimonial, you have to click on add new once again and add a new testimonial. Following the same process, I have added more testimonials. If you wish to add in the featured image of the client who has given the testimonial, then you can do that as well. Simply scroll down, then from the featured image option, click on set featured image, Select the image of your choice and click on set featured image which will add the featured image of your client. Now click on update. So this testimonial has been created. To view all of your testimonials, from under testimonial, you have to click on all testimonials. And here are all of the testimonials. I will also add the featured image for rest your testimonials following the same process. I'll just click on edit. Then from the featured image, click on set featured image and select the image of your choice. And click on update. I will then go back to all testimonials and I will add the featured image for the remaining testimonial as well. I'm done adding all the testimonials. You can add more testimonials if you wish to. Now let's go back to our customizer and we will just give it a refresh. Go to front page and we will go to the testimonial section. And here are the testimonials that we added earlier from the testimonials from our dashboard. If you wish to change the title, then you can do it from here. To change your subtitle, you can do that from here. Remove the title and subtitles that are already here, then add in the titles or subtitles of your choice. You can select the number of testimonials from here. You can increase or you can decrease it. Since we have only created three number of testimonials, only three testimonials will be displayed here. Now you can select the post order for testimonials on the basis of date or menu order. If you select date, then the testimonials order will be displayed according to the date. If you select a menu order, then the testimonials will be displayed here as per the menu order. If you are wondering what menu order is, if you go back to your dashboard and go to all testimonials, the order that is set here is the menu order. The testimonials will be displayed from the oldest to the newest order. Let's go back to our customizer. I will select date for the post order, which will display the testimonials as per the date added. Now you can change the read all testimonials label from here. Instead of read all testimonials, which is the default label, you can add in the label of your choice. You simply have to remove it and type in the testimonial label of your choice. You can also link the read all testimonials button to the page or the post where you want your visitors to land on when they click on this button. You can simply copy and paste the featured link inside of the testimonial link box. If you have created a testimonial page, then you can copy and paste the link to your testimonial page over here. Upon clicking the read all testimonials button, your visitors will land on the testimonial page. For now, I have just added a dummy link. Now click on publish. Let's go back to our front end. Scroll down to testimonial section. And we will give it a refresh. And here are the testimonials that we added. Back to our customizer. Let's go back. Next is the block section. The block section is the same as it was in the free theme. So I will not go into this either. Next is the client section. The client section option allows you to add in the logos of the clients that you have already worked with. To add in the client logos, you have to click on add a widget. Then as it is given here, 
You have to add WP Travel Engine Client Logo widget. From the search bar, simply type in Client Logo. And here, the WP Travel Engine Client Logo widget has appeared. Click on the widget. Now add in the title. Now click on add another logo button. Click on upload button. This will allow you to upload the image or the logo of the client. Click on select. You can also add in the featured link to the page or the post where your visitors will land on if they click on this client logo here. To add another logo, click on add another logo. Click on upload image. Select the image or the logo, click on select, add in the feature link and follow the process. Following the same process, I have added all the logos. After you are done adding all of the logos, you have to click on apply button here, which will display all of the logos here in the client section. If you wish to display these logos in black and white, then you have to scroll to the top and you have to select display logo in black and white option. You can also allow your visitors to open the respective links you have added in the same type by checking into the open in same tab option here. After you are done, click on publish to save the changes. Let's go back to our site and we will give it a refresh. And here is the client logo section. Let's go back. Next is the sort homepage section. In order to sort different sections on your homepage, you can make use of the sort homepage section option. And this is very easy. Let me show you with an example. So right now, the client logo section is displaying right at the bottom. Let's say for example, we want to display it right next to the about section. You simply have to drag it right to the top and drop it right below the about section. So right now, the client logo section is no more displaying under your block section. Rather, if you scroll to the top, right underneath the about section, the client logo section is displaying here. You can do the same with other sections following the same process. Now, if you wish to make any of the homepage sections temporarily disappear, then you don't have to go back and delete the content. Rather, you can simply click on the eye icon for the respective sections. Like right now, the popular packages is being displayed. If you wish to temporarily hide or disable it, then from the popular package here, you have to click on the eye icon. And this section will be hidden from your homepage. Now to display it back on, you'll have to click on the eye icon back on and the popular packages section will be displayed once again. You can do the same with all of the sections. I will set the client section back to its original place. And the client logo section is now displaying here right where it was before. Click on publish if you have made any changes. Let's go back. The last option is one page settings. In order to enable to make home page one page scrolling with section menu, you can enable the section menu option. Let's go to the top. Now when you enable this option, all the sections in your home page section will appear as a one page menu as it is showing on the screen right now. If you want to hide any of these sections from the menu, then you simply have to leave the section menu label blank from the respective sections. For example, if you want to hide or not show the about us section anymore on the menu, then you have to simply leave the about section menu label blank, which will not display the about section anymore on the menu. And if you wish to change the label, then you can do that from here as well. So instead of about us, simply add in about. 
and that label the label that you change will be displayed over here you can also enable to display the home link by enabling the toggle here if you wish to disable it then you can disable the toggle which will not display the home link anymore i will enable the home link and i will disable to enable the section menu let's go back we are done with our front page settings next is the about page template settings before configuring the about page template settings we'll have to create an about page and assign that page with about template so let's go back to our dashboard we'll go to pages and click on add new let's add in the title of our about page then we will add in the content now from the right hand side click on page from under template click on default template and you have to select about template from here now click on publish so the about page has been created let's open it in the new tab here now let's get back to our customizer and we will just give it a refresh And now we will go to the about page template settings. First is about template intro section. Here you can add an introduction about your travel company. To add in the about template intro section, as it is given here, you have to first add in the text widget for title and description. So click on add a widget and simply type in text inside of the search widget box. And you have to select the arbitrary text widget click on it now you can add in the title and the description so what you can do here is from the front end let's go to our front end and to the top the about section information you can simply copy and paste the about information from here i'll just copy the title paste it here then I will do the same with the description click on done now for the intro you have to add the WP travel engine icon text widget so click on add a widget then from search widgets bar type in icon text and you have to select WP Travel Engine Icon Text Widget. Now add in the title and the content here. So let's go back to our front page and I will copy the title. Paste it here and I will do the same with the content. Now to add the image, click on Upload, select the image or the icon of your choice, click on Select, then you can also add in the Read More link and the Read More text here. Simply add in the featured link to the page or the post where you want your visitors to land on when they click on the Read More button which will appear after you have added the link and the read more text after you add both read more link and the read more text the button will appear here now please note that for the about template intersection content i have used the same content from the about section in the front page if you wish to add in a different content then you can always add a different content the choice and preference is yours. Now to add in another intro, you have to first click on done after you are done. Click on add a widget, search for the icon text widget from the search bar once again. Select the widget, add in the content. Now following the same process, I will add in some more intros. I have finished adding all of the intros. One more thing. You can also add in the icons instead of images here. If you don't have an image to add, 
you can always go for the icons. You can select from the list of the icons and you can also search for the icons from here. You can also allow your visitors to open the links that you have added here in the same tab by enabling the open in same tab option. You only have to check into this little box here. Now after you are done, click on done and click on publish. Let's go to our about page in the front end and we will give it a refresh. And here is the about intro. Let's go back to our customizer. Next is the about template client section. Here you can add in the logos for the clients that you have already worked with. So all you have to do is click on add a widget. Now from the search widgets, search for a client logo. Then you have to select WP Travel Engine Client Logo. Click on the widget to select it. Add in the title. Click on add another logo. Click on upload image. Select your client logo and click on select. Inside the featured link box, you'll have to add in the link to the page or the post where your visitors will land on if they click on the client logo you have added, which will display here after you add in the featured link and click on apply button. I have added a dummy link here. Now before I click on apply button, let me add all of the other logos following the same process. So just click on add another logo, click on upload image, then upload all of your client logos. After you are done adding all of the logos, you have to click on apply. And the logos you add will be displayed here. If you wish to display these logos in black and white, then you have to select display logo in black and white option. And you can also allow your visitors to open the featured links you have added here in the same tab by checking into the open in same tab option. After you are done, click on done and click on publish. Let's go to our about page in the front end and we will just give it a refresh. And here is the client logo section in our about page. Let's get back to the customizer. Next is the about template service section. Here you can feature about the services that your travel or tour company provides to your clients. So click on add a widget. Now as it is given here, you have to add the text widget for title and description. So from the search bar, type in text. Select the arbitrary text widget. Now you can add in the title and the description. After you add your title and description, it will be displayed here. Now click on done. Click on add a widget once again. And this time we will add WP Travel Engine image text widget to feature the services. So from the search bar, simply type in image text. Select WP Travel Engine image text widget by clicking on it. Now fill in the details. Add in the title. So the title and the content have been added. Next, you can add in the read more link and the read more text here. So simply copy and paste the featured link inside of the read more link box. I have added a dummy link. Now once you add in the read more text, the read more button will be displayed here. Upon clicking the read more button, your visitors will land on the page or the post of which the link you have added here. Now to upload an image, click on upload and select the image of your choice. Let's go with this one. Click on select. And the image will be displayed here. Click on done. 
To add in another service, click on Add a Widget once again. Then once again, you have to search for the WP Travel Engine Image Text Widget by typing Image Text here. Select the widget, fill in the details. Following the same process, I have added more services. After you are done, click on Done and click on Publish. Now let's go back to our About page in the front end and we will just give it a refresh. And here is the services that we just added. Let's go back to our customizer. Next is the testimonial section. By default, the testimonials that we added earlier from the dashboard are displaying here. You can select the number of testimonials from here. You can increase or you can decrease the number of testimonials to be displayed. To reset, you can click on the reset icon here. Then you can select the post order based on dates or based on the menu order. I will select dates. Click on publish to save the changes. The testimonial section is already displaying in our about page. Let's go back. Next is the team section. Before we configure team section from here, we'll have to go back to our dashboard and add team members. So let's head back to our dashboard. Let's go back. Go to Teams and click on Add New. Inside the Add Title box, you have to add in the name of your team member. Then add in the description about the team member. From your right hand side, under Team Details, you have to add in the position of the team member. I will add the position as founder and CEO. Then you can add in the social links. Simply copy and paste the social media links into the respective social media platforms. For example, for Facebook option here, you will have to copy and paste the link to the Facebook account of the team member inside of this box. For now, I'll just add in Facebook.com. And you can do the same for the rest of the social media platforms. Now to add in the image of the team member, scroll down. You have to click on set featured image. Then select the image. Click on set featured image. Here is the featured image. If you wish to add in the gallery to the team member, then you can click on add images and add gallery as well by selecting more images. After you are done, just click on Publish. Now, from under Teams, if you go to All Teams, here is the newest team member that you have just added. To add in more team members, you have to click on the Add New button. Then, you have to follow the same process. Let me pause the video, create a few more team members, and we will continue with the video. I have added all the team members. Now, to view all of the team members that you have added, from under Teams, you have to select All Teams. Here, you will be able to view all of the team members that you have added so far. Now, let's go to our customizer back again and let's give our customizer tab a refresh. Go to About Page Template Settings. Then, let's go to Team Section once again. And here are the team members that we added from our dashboard. To change the title, you can do it from here. So instead of Happy Travelers, let's add the title as Our Team. To change the subtitle, you can do that from here. Remove the subtitle that is already here, then add in the subtitle of your choice which will be displayed as your subtitle over here. Now you can also select the number of members to display here. Instead of 3, you can also select 6. And when you select 6, 6 different team members 
will be displayed here in the team section of your about page for your team members all the team members that you added here is the name of the team member here is the position here is the description the image that you added and when you hover your cursor over the image you will be able to see all of the linked social media platforms that applies for all of the team members that is showing here I will select the number of team members as three. Then you can select the post order from here. You can either individually select the team members to be displayed here. You can choose to display the team members as per the date or as per the menu order. When you select menu order, the team members will be displayed from oldest to newest as per the order that you have added here. So it will display from oldest to newest. That is the menu order. If you select date, the team members will be displayed as per the date they are added. And if you select select option, you will be able to choose team member one, two or three. Or if you have selected six number of members, you will be able to select six different team members. Let's go with three and let's select our team members. So you will be able to select the team members as per your choice. For the team section, I will go with menu order, but you can select any post order of your choice. Now, after you are done, Click on publish to save the changes. Let's go to our about page in the front end. And let's give it a refresh. And the changes have been made. Let's go back to our customizer and let's go back. Next is sort about page template section. This option allows you to sort or toggle various about page sections. Let me demonstrate that with an example. So for now, the team section is right at the very bottom, right over here. And the intro section is right at the top, right over here after title and description. Now, if you wish to display the intro section right at the very bottom and the team section right at the very top, then all you have to do is select it and you have to drag and drop it. So for the intro section, just drag and drop it to the very bottom and drag and drop team section to the very top. Now, right after title and description, you will see the team section. Then the intro section is now displaying at the very bottom. If you wish to make any of the sections disappear or hide them for a while, you don't have to remove all of the information. You only have to click on the eye icon so for the intro section right here, if you wish to disable or hide it for a while, you can click on the eye icon which will hide the intro section and it works the same way for the rest of the sections. When you hide all of the sections, they will not be displayed on your about page anymore. To enable them, you'll have to click on the eye icons back on and they will be displayed back on your about page. Let me put the intro and team section back to where they were before and they will be displayed accordingly. Please don't forget to click on publish if you have made any changes. Let's go back. We are done with our about page template section. Next is the contact template settings. Before we configure the contact template settings here, we'll have to create a contact page first. So let's do that first. Let's go back to our dashboard. Go to pages and click on add new. Now add in the title as contact or you can add in the title of your choice. Add in the content. Now go to page and from under a template, click on default template, which will open a drop down option. 
you'll have to select contact template from the list of available templates. Click on publish to save the changes. You can also add in the featured image. For now, I've not added any featured image for the contact page. Now let's view the page in the new tab. So this is what the contact page looks like. Now that we have created our contact page, let's head back to our customizer and we will go through the contact template settings. What I will do is I'll just click on the publish button to make sure to not lose any changes we have made so far from the customizer tab. And now I'll give it a refresh. Then let's go to the contact template settings once again, which will now open the contact page that we have just created on the right hand side. Firstly, you will see contact form information here. For now, we have not added a contact form yet. So let's add in a contact form to our contact page. To do that, let's go back to our dashboard and let's go back. You have to click on the contact menu and click on the contact forms. So here is a pre-created contact form. If you wish to create a different contact form, you can click on add new. Then you can add in the title of the contact form. Let's add it as contact form 2. You can change the tags and labels as per your choice. And now you have to click on the save button, which will create a contact form. Now this newly created contact form will generate a short code. You can just copy the short code from right here or you can just click on contact forms to access all of the available and created contact forms. Then you can also copy the short code from here. I have copied the short code of contact form 2 which is the contact form that we just created. And now I'll go to pages, click on all pages. Then I will open our contact page by clicking on edit. Right over here, just paste the short code that you have just copied. Now click on update. And if you go back to the contact page, which we have opened in the front end, give it a refresh. It will now display the contact form that we just created and add it to our contact page. Let's go back to our customizer. To display the contact form here, I will disable the toggle and I will enable it back again. This refreshes the customizer tab, which in turn displays the contact form here. The next option is to show or hide the Google map that is displaying here. If you disable to show the Google map and if you have added a featured image for the contact page while creating the contact page from over here, then the image that you add will be displayed here once the show Google map option is disabled. Then you can select Google map option from here. You can either go with Google map API or you can select Google Map iframe. If you select Google Map API, then you will have to add in the Google Map API key over here. You can get the API key from this link over here. Then you have further settings to configure Google Map when you have selected Google Map API as the option. You can enable or disable the scrolling wheel. You can enable or disable the map controls. You can enable the map marker as well as add in the marker title. If you wish to select Google Map iframe, then you can input the Google Map iframe to display map over here. Let me demonstrate an example. So simply in the new tab, go to Google Map. Click on Google Maps. Search for a location. I will select Orly Airport, France. Now you have to click on share. Click on embed a map. Click on copy HTML. 
Now paste the same code that you just copied. And here the Google map will be added. Next, you can also edit the contact details. You can change the contact information default title from here. Then you can edit the contact phone. To replace the content, remove the phone number that is already here. Then add in the phone number of your travel company. Then you can add in the contact address here and also add in the contact email. If you wish to add in the social links, then you can do that as well. Simply click on add new links. Now here, inside of the search icons box, simply type in the name of the social media platform, which you wish to display right over here. So for example, if you want to add Facebook, simply search for Facebook by typing Facebook. Then a small Facebook icon appears here. You have to click on the icon. Now you have to copy and paste the link to the official Facebook page inside of the link box. As soon as you add the link, the tiny Facebook icon appears here. When your visitors click on this Facebook icon, they will land on your Facebook page of which the link you have added here. To add in another link, again, you have to click on add new links button. Now let's say you want to add in Instagram. Now simply type in Instagram inside of search icons box. Select the Instagram icon. Now copy and paste the link to your official Instagram page here. Which in turn will display small Instagram icon over here. Upon clicking the Instagram icon, your visitors will directly land on your Instagram page. From there, they can follow you and check out the content that you have added. Now following the same process, let me add some more social media links. I have added all of the social media links following the same process and they are displaying here respectively on our contact page. Click on publish to save the changes. Let's go back to our contact page and let's give it a refresh. And you will see the changes here accordingly. Back to our customizer. We are done with our contact template settings. Next is the team page template settings. Again, just like with about and contact page, in order to configure the team page template settings, you'll have to first create a team page. So let's go back to our dashboard for that. Back to dashboard home. Now from pages, click on add new. Let's add in the title. Then add in the description. Now go to page on the right hand side. Then from under template, click on default template. And here you have to select team template. You can also add in the featured image if you wish to. For now, I'm going to skip adding the featured image. Now click on publish. And let's view our team page in the new tab. And this is what the team page looks like in your front end. Right now, all of the team members that we created earlier from our dashboard are being displayed on your team page. Now let's go over to our customizer. And we will give our customizer tab a refresh. Let's go to the team page template settings, which will now display the team page that we just created on our right hand side. The first option is core member section, which is this section over here. You can change the title from here. The default title is core members. To replace it, you have to remove the title that is already here, then add in the title of your choice. In a similar way, you can also replace the subtitle from here. You can select the number of members to be displayed here. You can either go with 3 or you can go with 6. I will select 3. 
then you can select the post order from three different options. You can either go with date, which will display the team members as per the date they are added. You can also select menu order, which will display the team members from oldest added to the newest. If you wish to select the core team members to be displayed here, then you can click on select option, which will give you the option to select your core team members. You have to click here, which will display all of the team members you have added so far in the drop down option. You can simply select the core members from the list of available team members. I will select the post order as menu order and now click on publish to save the changes. Let's go back. Next is our team section, which is this section over here. To change the title, you can do that from here. To change the subtitle, you can do that from here. Then you can select the post order for your our team section as per the date or as per the menu order. Let's go with date for this one. Click on publish. Go to your team page in the front end and give it a refresh and you will be able to see the changes here accordingly. Back to our customizer. Next is the testimonial template settings. Before we configure the testimonial template settings, we'll have to create a testimonial page. So back to our dashboard, back to dashboard home, from pages, click on add new. First, add in the title. Then you can add the description. From the right hand side, go to page. From under template, click on default template. And you have to select testimonial template. You can also add in the featured image from here. Then click on publish. The testimonial page has been published. So let's view the page in the front end in the new tab. And here is the testimonials page. These are the testimonials that we had created earlier from our dashboard. Now let's go to our customizer tab. And we will give this tab a refresh. So that all of the changes we have made from the dashboard also displays here. Now let's go to testimonial template settings and it will open the testimonial page that we have just created on the right hand side. You can select post order for testimonial page template from here. It can be as per the date they are added or it can be as per the menu order. This displays the testimonials from oldest to newest. Let's go with date and click on publish. Let's go back. Next is single trip page settings. These are the settings for your single trip page. To demonstrate these settings, let's go to a single trip page. So I'll go to destination. And let's open one of the destinations from here. And I will open a single trip page from here. The first option is to enable the related trips. So related trips are, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, these are the related trips. If you wish to disable them, you can disable the toggle here, which will disable the related trips altogether. And when you enable the toggle back on, the related trips will be displayed back on. To change the related trips default title, you can do that from here, as well as to change the default read more label, you can do that from here. Just remove the labels or titles that are already here. Then add in the labels or titles of your choice. Now, you can also select the related trip taxonomy that displays here as per destination, activities or trip type taxonomies. By default, destination taxonomy is selected. You can select activities. And when you do that, the related trips displayed here will be based upon the activities taxonomy. And when you select trip type, 
the related trips displayed here will be as per the trip type taxonomy. I will select destination and click on publish if you have made any changes. Let's go back. Next is the general settings. First is the header settings. Let's go to the top for this one. The first option is to enable or disable the search form. So let's go to our home page. Now this is the search form. If you wish to disable it, then you can disable it by disabling the toggle and it will not be displayed here anymore. If you enable it back on, the search form will be displayed here back on. Now there are other options such as adding the phone number, enabling the social links and adding various social media links. The header layout I have selected does not support phone number and other social media links. In order to demonstrate these examples, I will go back to the layout settings, go to header layout and I will select one of the layouts that supports phone number as well as social media links. Let's select the header layout number three. And as you can see, it supports the social media links as well as the phone number. Let's go back and now we will go to general settings and go to the header settings. From here, you can add in the phone number of your travel website. So I will just copy the phone number here that is given in example and I will paste it here. The number I add here will be displayed as the phone number over here. Then you can also enable or disable to show the social media links. If you disable the toggle, the social media links will not be displayed here anymore. But if you choose to enable the toggle back on, the social media links will be displayed here. Now there are a bunch of social media links that are already added. Let me show you how you can add social media links one by one. So let me remove all of the social media links that are here in default. To add in the social media links, you have to click on add new links. Now inside the search icons, you have to search for the social media which you want to add here to your header. So for example, if you want to add in Facebook, simply type in Facebook here, which will display the small Facebook icon. You have to click on this icon to select it. Now, copy and paste the link to your official Facebook page inside of the link box here. As soon as you add in the link, a tiny Facebook icon will be displayed here. In a similar way, you have to click on add new links. And now let's see if you want to add in Instagram, simply search for Instagram from search icons bar here, which will display the Instagram icon. Now, copy and paste the link to your official Instagram page. And when you add in the link, the small Instagram icon displays here. Following the same process, you can keep on adding more social media links. Following the same process, I have added more social media links to our header section. I have added all of the social media links and now they are displaying respectively on our header section. If you click on publish, let's go to our front end and let's give it a refresh and you will see the changes here accordingly. Let's go back to our customizer and back. Next is the 4 or 4 page settings. I have already covered this in our free theme, so I will not go into this. Next is the social sharing. The social sharing option is meant for your blog posts. So I will go to the blog page from the navigation menu. And now these are the social sharing buttons. The first option is to enable or disable the social sharing buttons. You can disable the social sharing buttons by disabling the toggle which in turn will also hide all of the extra options. To enable the social sharing options, you'll have to enable the social sharing buttons once again, which will enable the social sharing buttons. You can also sort or toggle the social sharing buttons that are added here. 
First, let me show you how to toggle the social sharing buttons. So from your right hand side, you will find these eye icons. Let's say you do not want to display the Pinterest icon here. All you have to do is click on this eye icon, which will hide the Pinterest icon. Now on the contrary, let's say you want to display Pinterest, email and Reddit social sharing buttons right over here. All you have to do is click on the eye icons of these respective social sharing buttons and they will be displayed here. This is how it works for all of the social sharing buttons that are available here. Let's say you want to display the Facebook icon right at the last. So all you have to do is drag and just drop it right after Reddit and it displays at the last. In a similar way, you can sort it in any order that you wish to. And you can do the same for the rest of the social sharing buttons as well. Click on publish to save the changes. The social sharing buttons are enabled for all of your blog posts in your blog page. Let's go to the top and let's go back. Next is the SEO settings. The SEO settings are the same as they were in the free theme, so I'll not go into this either. Next is the post page settings. Here, along with the settings that you get for the free theme, you also get extra settings with Travel Booking Pro theme. Let's go through each of these settings one by one. First is Blog Post Image Crop. When you enable this option, it avoids automatic cropping of featured image in blog section of home page and archive page. To enable this option, you only have to enable the toggle. If your images are automatically cropped, you can enable this option and it will display the images exactly in the size they were uploaded. For now, I'm going to disable it. Another option that you get with a Travel Booking Pro theme is to hide category meta. So this right here is the category meta that is showing for each of your blog post. If you wish to disable or hide it, you have to enable this option which in turn will hide the category meta. And when you disable to hide the category meta, the category meta will be displayed here. Next option is post meta. This option helps you to rearrange the post meta in the order you want. So these are the post metas, the date, author, and comments. Now let's say you don't want comments meta to be here. You can simply Remove the comment meta by clicking on the cross icon. And when you do that, the comment meta will be removed from here. Similarly, you can remove the author meta by clicking on the cross icon, which will then be removed from your blog post. Then you can do the same with the date. And they will be removed altogether from all of your blog posts in your blog page. Now to add them back on, just select them from here, from the drop down option and they will be displayed here back on if you wish to reorder it. So let's say for example, you want the author to be displayed right before the date, then you can simply drag and you can drop it just like this and the author will be displayed before date. To put it back on, again, drag and simply drop it in the order you wish to. Next option is to hide prefix in archive pages. Archive pages are your tags, your category pages and so on. So let's go to street walking category page and here the prefix is being shown. To hide it, simply enable hide prefix in archive page option. And when you disable it, the category prefix will be displayed. I will enable to hide prefix in archive pages. The next option is single post image crop. This option is similar to blog post image crop option. The only difference is that it avoids automatic cropping of the featured images in your single post. Next, you can hide the author section by enabling the toggle in your single blog post. The next option is to enable the related post. 
So let's open one of the blog posts from here. I will show you what related posts are. So these are your related posts. If you wish to disable them, you have to disable the enable related post toggle and your related post will not be displayed here anymore. To show them back on, you have to enable the toggle and they will be displayed here once again. To change the related post title which is now set as you may also like, you can remove the related post title from here then add in the title of your choice. The next option is to enable the recent post. So right under related post, you will see recent post. You can disable the toggle to disable the recent posts and you can enable them back on to enable the recent posts back on. To change the title, you can do that from here. Just like with a related post, simply remove the title that is already here, then add in the title of your choice. The next option is to highlight author comment. If you enable this option, the author comment will be highlighted in single post page. After you are done, click on publish to save the changes you have made. Next option is sidebar settings. From sidebar settings, you can create different and multiple sidebar for your posts and pages. I will not go in depth on how to configure the sidebar. You can refer to the theme documentation. If you come across any issues, then please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. If you want me to make a separate video tutorial on how to configure sidebar settings, then please do let me know in the comment section below. Next is the miscellaneous settings. From here, you can configure various miscellaneous settings. The first option is admin bar. So when you go to your front end and when you are logged in, the admin bar displays at the top. If you disable to display the admin bar, Click on publish, go back to your front end and give it a refresh. The admin bar will not be displayed here anymore. This gives you the idea of how your site looks like without the admin bar showing in the front end. I'll go back and I will enable the admin bar. The next option is sticky header. So I will just publish the changes here and let's go to our front end, give it a refresh. As you scroll down, the header is not sticky. Now from the customizer, if you enable sticky header, click on publish, come back to your site in the front end and give it a refresh. As you scroll down, you will see the sticky header. This helps your visitors to access the navigation menu from any part of your site. Let's go back. Another option is to enable scroll to top. So this right here is scroll to top. If you choose to hide it, disable the toggle and you have to click on publish. Go back to your front end to give it a refresh and it will not be displayed anymore. And when you enable scroll to top by enabling the toggle, click on publish. Go to your front end, give it a refresh. It will be displayed back on. The next option is Lightbox. When you enable the Lightbox option, the images that you have added in your blog post pops up, which allows the visitors to see the larger version of the image without leaving the main page. So you can enable this option. Now click on Publish to save the changes you have made. Let's go back. Next is Google Analytics settings. Here, you can add your Google Analytics code. You don't have to use any external plugins for adding the code since the option to add in the Google Analytics code is already present here within the customizer. Let's go back. We are done with the general settings. Next is the menus. I have already covered how to create navigation menu in our free theme. So please refer to that video. I have added the link in the description box below. Let's go to the top. In this Pro theme video tutorial, I will show you how you can add custom links 
for your menu. So let's click on primary menu and click on add items. Here is the option to add in the custom links. I want to add in the custom links for our trips. So I will add the link text as trips. Then I will go to our front end. Let's go to one of the trips from here. Let's go to this one. Now right from the permalink, remove the name of the trip. Then copy the rest of the link. Let's go back to the customizer and we will paste it here. So this is the link of the all trips page in our front end. Now click on add to menu. And all trips has been added to the navigation menu. If you wish to change the label, then you can do that from here. After you are done, click on publish. Now let's go to our front end and we will give it a refresh. Now if you go to trips, this page lists all of the trips that you have created so far on your site. If you do not understand anything, if there are any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Let's get back to our customizer. Next is the widgets. I have already covered this section in our free theme video tutorial, so I will not go into this. Next is the performance settings. The first option is lazy loading. When you enable lazy loading, it helps you to speed up your site loading. Please feel free to enable lazy loading feature for your featured images as well as for your content images. The next option is Defer JavaScript. You can read more about Defer JavaScript on the internet. What it basically does is, it helps to improve your site loading speed. It informs the browser to delay the loading of certain script so that your site loads much faster. I will enable this option. The next option is to remove verb parameters. Verb parameters are also known as version parameters from your CSS and JS file. When you enable this option, you will get slightly good score on speed testing websites like GT Metrics. I have already covered locally host Google Fonts. Now click on Publish to save the changes you have made. I have covered both homepage and additional CSS in the free theme. So I'll not go into these. Next is footer settings. Now apart from the options to change the footer background image and to add in the footer copyright text of your choice, you also get the option to hide the author link and hide the WordPress link as I mentioned in the travel booking free theme video tutorial. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom to our footer area. Here is the author link and here is the WordPress link. You simply have to enable both toggles to hide the option. And this will hide the author link as well as the WordPress link from your footer copyright text. Then you can add in the footer copyright text of your choice from here. Let me add in the name of our site, Travel Booking, which will now display here. You can make use of this option to add in the footer copyright text of your choice. Now let's go back. Next is Customizer Reset. This option helps you to reset all of the settings that you have made from your customizer settings so far. So all you have to do is click on the reset button. And this will give you the option to press no if you are not ready. Before you go with the reset option, please make sure that you actually want to go with the reset option because the process is irreversible and it will remove all customizations ever made via customizer till now as it is mentioned here. Let's get back and we will go to the top. We are done with all of our customizer settings. Click on publish so that we save the changes we have made so far. Let's go back to the home page. Now we will go over to our front end. Let's go to the home page. And let's take a look at our website for the last time. Thank you. 
So that was it about Travel Booking Pro WordPress theme video tutorial. If you are liking our videos so far, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to share and click on that bell icon for notifications. You don't want to miss what we bring to you. If you have any questions or confusions, you can always reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.